Next, we are going to understand how do we set up a developer arc. And what's a developer edition? It's an edition provided by Salesforce purely for the purpose of learning and development. So now we'll be creating our account in the developer arc and this particular account we'll be using throughout the course of the training and even after the training you can very much use this because it has unlimited access for unlimited time. So it is always recommended that you have your developer edition available so that you can use it always for your learning and also for your testing. Even after these many years of working in Salesforce, I still do have a developer account so that any POCs, any testing, any learning, I always use that. So it is highly recommended to have one. And now let's understand how do we create one. Go to https developer.salesforce.com You'll have the option of sign up. Click on sign up. Fill in all the details. Say for example, my name and you can give your email ID to whichever you have access to. And you can give the company and a postal code, say a sample postal code and a username. say online at training.com. So here you got to ensure that whichever email ID you give should be a valid email ID to which you have access to because Salesforce sends out a verification email to this particular email ID. And the other important thing is whenever you give the username, it should be in the form of an email address as mentioned here user at the rate domain.com. Once you are done with all the details, click on sign me up. Okay, so now it says, please check your email to confirm your account. So by now, you would have got an email from Salesforce confirming that you have created your developer account. This is the email that I have got from Salesforce. Click on the link to create your password. Once done, your Salesforce application homepage will automatically launch. So here we are. So many congratulations. You have successfully created your developer account. So this is the developer org that we have created. And if you hover on the tab, it shows. What it shows, force.com homepage, Salesforce developer edition, which means you are working in a developer edition. So in real time, be it whichever edition the project uses, if you hover on the tab, it will tell you which particular edition that particular project uses. So as simple as that, we have successfully created our developer org and this org we'll be using throughout the training to understand the concepts.